Hello to everyone, this is Vishal and again we are in the sessions. Uh, actually, as uh, we have many sessions be going on related to the Kotlin, related to the Java. In the Java, we have uh, many branches like in the MVVM, Jetpack and uh, animations. So same, we are working with the Kotlin animations and the Kotlin MVVM approaches, data bindings. So different playlist on my channel. So as uh, we are working with the Android animations, uh, I'm making a small part on this category today. And this is small video, but that's good because of we are working with the transitions as. So last time uh, we have discussed as Android animations and in which we have learned that how we can animate or rotate or slide down this kind of stuffs. Uh, and, and also we have worked with the bitmaps how we can uh, run that with the steps so many uh, many have done with the value animators object animators like this and also we have done with the uh, that means our GPS system how we can move a car and how we can uh, uh, use the marker as in a customize and run it on on your Google map so these kind of many stuffs on this and polylines we have worked with so today uh, I'm going to be uh, transitions that is an also be a very good topic when we working with the animations that also we know that what is the transitions because of transition is important whenever you uh, want to animate any activity that means once uh, you have to run that one activity to other activity whenever you call the intent so we want some animations like that and whenever we click on the image we want some animation so that means it's look and feel be good on that cases so in this kind of category uh, we are working with the transitions so generally if we say in a simple language the process of period of changing one state to another in a computer language or a simple language is called your simple transition so whenever uh, we can say as we are working with the videos slides uh, or we can do the animations like that so that means uh, we can run that uh, as in a regular ways so that means it uh, shows that it is a part of the first category so that means a transitions are a kind of animations used to keep user oriented you during a user interface state changes that's the most important that is called during user interface state changes and object manipulations and make those changes feel smooth instead of zero okay so that means we have uh, we need a smooth animations whenever you work with that so if you go with the transition uh, Android developer page for the transition so there we have you can see that there's a group group level animations build in animations life cycle callbacks so we will work on that so there you can see this our transition is a mechanism to automatically animate changes that occurs when a new scene is all entered so here we are working with the scenes uh, so we are working as as we are uh, working with the Kotlin. So I will show you that how we can create a scene. So some transitions capabilities are automatic. That is entering a scene may cause uh, animations to run, which fade out views to that go away. So there's many ways we can you can explore. You can fade uh, uh, do that with your animations. Okay. So there be a scene object for the of both of the starting layout and then ending layout so there be the scene and you can uh, call that particular layout on the root so that's the starting layout scene and how we can close that so that is so here we have a most important classes that's we an object we can say that's in transition and transition manager so these to be make it a uh, good feel for we, we, whenever we work with and if you go with that they are with the same a starting layout a starting scene then this is your ending layout ending scene this is your transition this is your transition manager so these we have to work with today and you can do that whenever you call the go that means it is your animate changes from a starting to ending layout okay 
So create a scene, scene stores the state of view hierarchy, including all its views and their properties, values, the transition framework can run animators. So today I'm just showing you how can create scene in a very easy way, a simple topic. And then we work in my future uh, sessions, that's the details we can work on that, how we can uh, use that kind of scene on your recycler view, on your image views and your uh, that means um, you can put your animations from one layout to the other layout uh, whenever you call the activities. So today we can work with a single page in which we can use the multi layout framework and we can run that. That means layout scene. So today we have worked with layout scene. Okay. And uh, for this uh, I will show you something as in a practical but here uh, we have to work with three areas like you know explore the slides fade and uh, your change bounds change clip bounds and change transform and change image transform these bounds we have to work but uh, these one by one I can explore you in your next uh, session but today first we have to create a scene on the layout as on Android studio in a Kotlin let's see what to do Okay, so let us start in Android Studio. Yo, yeah. So here we have a main activity, just simple. And here I'm making an ID with the root container, nothing else. So there's a simple relative layout. In this, I give the ID as in a root container. Okay. And there, beside that, we have a two simple layouts in which we have a button. Uh, no need of this. So here, simple layout in which we have a button and uh, second scene is also be that is a button so simply two layouts with two buttons i'm using so you can use your layouts whatever be your according to your requirements okay that means in a single activity how we can call the multiple how we can include we can say the multiple layouts okay so here we have a two scenes you can make according to your choices and uh, the first part of that how we can uh, create as an uh, uh, scene for the main activity so here we have a main activity in which we have to call that scene okay so for this uh, very simple you can say that i think uh, kotlin is more easy than your whenever you work with the java okay but mostly i prefer the java so this is your, uh, you can see that this is a simple scene and uh, that's you can say as in a null. So first you have to create your first scene, okay. And then copy paste it, we have had other scene also. So you can make it as scene 2, this is your scene 2, okay. And also, uh, we have uh, beside that we can work with this uh, scene one. Yeah, and how we can call that? You can call that as in a scene. You can see your get a current screen get scene for layout. So you have to go for scene for layout. Okay. So first we are working on that and one by one in my coming sessions I will explore how you can work with the custom scenes also okay and here uh, you can see this is your root container so you can see this is your root container root container is what that is on your main activity relative layout okay nothing else so here this is your root container and you want to call that layout here so as we are working with the include, you can use it as in a layout dot your scene one. So that's very easy, and this is called this. So I think that's very simple line for the scene one. And here you can call the same scene two, okay? And here I want to be a scene two here. Nothing else. So which scene you want at enough first time? you can call it as in a scene one dot enter okay so i think that's your question mark and uh, colon you can use it what is what will be the requirement i think uh, 
you know well otherwise you can watch my Kotlin sessions for the basics and uh, yeah and soon I will make uh, videos for your know, artificial intelligence also okay because in the future programming be there so here we can say that this is our two scenes we can create in very easy way and once it's created that means uh, we need that two functions we have to go you can make it in a function uh, you can say go to scene two okay so here you can call your scene two and we have to work with the view and here you can call another function that is a uh, scene one that's what I say that means you have to back on this okay and here whenever you call this you need a transition manage so as I told you we need a transition manager dot go so that means we have to go with your scene so second scene we have to call so use the transition manager and here first scene we have to call so we call the transition manager so I think it's very easy steps and now you have to go for the scene one and here you can say um, on click so I want on click for go to scene two. This is your scene one. So whenever work with the scene one, and I I want to click on the button of the scene one and go to scene two. And uh, on scene two, you can say for the on click and go to scene one back. Okay. So this is a very simple scenario. But I want to apply some transition effects on that. So for this, what to do? So for this uh, we need a folder inside your RES. So here you can say that directory and that directory name is transition. So whenever you work with you need this directory transition as you work with as a um, any okay and you can say the new transition resource file. So transition resource file be um, root element if you go with transition set and file name also be I am giving transition okay so this is our transition set a very simple transition set be here okay and here you can see that uh, if you work with um, ordering so I want sequentials I will describe you what is the together and sequential differences but here you can work within a sequentials okay and here the important thing is which kind of uh, uh, you want explode fade slide okay so if I work with the fade and uh, I want with the duration duration is 2000 and uh, fading mode fade in and uh, nothing else okay and uh, here we have a change bounce duration 2000 and uh, you also be applied the targets but some other day I will ex explain that Android your as we are work with the interpolators okay in my previous sessions so you can use that change points also so how we can call that for uh, that transition manager effects on that so what to do for this you can go again for the activity and here you can work with a where transition uh, effects so this is your transition whenever I work with this 
with the uh, question mark null I, I just call I mean recall the Swift it's the same language whenever you walk okay so this is a very simple uh, effect on you can go for your transition and you can see that transition inflator okay dot from this I have to call that so this is your um, simple inflate transition and our resource file be r dot transition dot transition I think um, that's enough okay so that's your transitions effect we are work with We can call that transitions and here transition manager we work on with this so uh, there are a lot of stuffs whenever you work with this transition manager and transitions effects i'm just show to you how it run first then we discuss about because of on the second part we shall discuss about more related to this in a detail okay so let's see what happened with this okay let's see what happened here yeah you can see that this is our first scene and here your button that's we have to call call scene 2 you can see and when we call call scene 1 so this is a simple scene so you can make uh, multiple scenes on the single layout so uh, and there have been many kind of animations we can work but first you can learn it how we can use simple scenes be here so first uh, practice on today what we have done with the simple scene and then I will explore you the explore slide and fade how you can use these transitions in a uh, more ways or in a deep ways and how you can use your XML transitions at XML be there so these all but on my next sessions we will and also uh, I will show to you how you can open your next activity with your nice animations using these effects okay and also we can uh, work with the change bounds change clip bounds change transform and change image transforms so these all categories uh, for the next session but today is a small session just for learn how you can simple make how you can make a simple scene video okay and uh, all the best and uh, keep safe and use mask okay <laughs>